Hello everyone, how have you been? Thank you all for showing interest in this class. God bless you. So, in cutting our trouser, if we want to cut our trouser, there are certain measurements we are going to take in cutting our trouser. I know, I know that this is not a new thing for each and every one of us today. I know you guys are professional and so on. So please, God, we are all here to learn. There is no one that is perfect. We are all here to learn from each other. So, for to take our trouser measurement, we need our waist as a measure, our hip, our tie, our nail, our bottom, our waist to nail. So, we need our waist measurement, which is here. This is our waist measurement. Then we need our hip. An hip measurement. Now, if you want to take your measurement for your hip, it will need to be at the full part of this piece, not above, not below, at the full part of the butt. That is where your hip measurement starts from. So, after doing that, then the next thing you do, the next thing you're going to do is take your tie. So, this is our tie. You take your tie measurement and when you are taking your tie measurement you make sure there is, there is little room for allowance as you can see it's not necessary it does not have to be this tight so that you can swing your leg left and right if it's too tight you won't be able to swing your leg except if the material is a very stretchy one but if it's ankara or non stretchy material you need to give it a little room for allowance so after you've done that you measure you need to measure your nail you need to measure your nail. After measuring your bum nail, you need to measure the bottom of your trouser. Now, if you want to measure the bottom of your trouser, you don't just measure it like this. Reason is because if you measure it like this, when the person wants to put in his or her leg, the person will not be able to put it. So, except if the material is a very stretchy material, that is when it can accommodate the person's leg. But if you want to measure a trouser, a perfect fish trouser for a client so that when he or she puts his or her leg on it, it will enter, you need to measure it from beneath the leg. Now you can see my dome is raising up its leg. You need to measure it from here so that when the person wants to put in the leg, it will swap in like this. And when the person wants to move it, to be able to move out. So that the person will be wearing nylon all the time. Then you want to wear. I said for those that want to wear nylon or in pen. But if it's if the material is a stretchy material, you can leave it like that. But if it's not stretchy material, in order to avoid insult, in order to avoid tearing of the material, you need to measure it beneath the leg like this. Okay. Beneath the leg. You need to measure it like this. So if you measure it like this, when the person is wearing it, is swiping, you can see it's entered. The person wants to remove, does the same thing. You can see it's entered. So, this is how you take the measurement for beneath the trouser. That is the bottom part of the trouser. Then, the next measurement you need also is your waist to your knee. You need your waist to your knee measurement. You need your waist to your knee measurement. And after that, you also need your flap. Now, this flap, there are many ways you can maneuver it. You can't be putting tape beneath your client's bumble. I say you want to start measuring. Now, if it's your own, that one, you go to. So you put it from the back, from the front waist to the back waist, and you measure. Or you ask the client to sit on the flat surface and you measure from the waist down to where the flat surface stop. That's when you can get. Or during our calculation, during our pattern drafting, I will teach you how to also use your waist to determine your flap measurement. So these are just the basic measurements for your trouser. Your waist measurement, your round waist, your round hip, your round tie, your knee, the bottom part, and the waist to your knee measurement. We thank you very much. God bless you. And stay tuned. Please also, I need your full participation in the class. Please 
whatever work that is being submitted, please, I need you to participate. I need your full, your, I need your full cooperation. Thank you so much, and God bless you.